Our family recently moved to Seoul, South Korea. This is the fifth international school we've taught at and the same school our children now attend. The days, weeks, and months have flown by with our busy schedules. Before we knew it, fall had quickly turned to winter and my son Teo and I were off for winter break. Where are we going, bud? To Taiwan. We're going on a boys trip. Just landed in Taipei, about to meet up with our friends. Ah, oh, I love traveling. Friends for 16 years, we met Maya and Eyal while teaching at an international school in Senegal, West Africa. The two have a gift for learning new knowledge and skills and sharing with others. It's no wonder one is a diplomat and the other a tour guide. We'll be setting out on the road with them and their two kids, Eli and Kai, for just over two weeks with the goal of circumnavigating Taiwan to learn as much as possible and try new activities. And that's a great representative of Taiwan. Taipei 101 made of semiconductors. You know, every country has a different uh, value that they are known on. And like in, in the US, it's freedom. And in Israel, it's the innovation, improvisation. In Taiwan, that's cuteness. Like, it's a value. Cuteness is harmonious. Where are we going right now? To a place that claims to have our original recipe for uh, boba. Taiwan's iconic drink, bubble tea or boba tea, is a milky tea with chewy tapioca starch. It is now served all over the world. Oh, there they come. <laughs> Chew it up. Eyal was excited to share some of the new knowledge and skills he's learned in the four years since we've last met up. Why do you do cold baths? Once you go in a cold bath and you are actually able to relax in the water, there's a serious performance that will release for a few hours, not just while you're in. The idea is to hyperventilate in a very specific way. So we are hyperventilating and you want to feel this kind of dizziness, tingling, like really hyperventilate. Controlling your breath. One smooth move, you're going to sit down. Keep scanning your body from head to toe and see where you can relax a little bit more. And keep on breathing slow. What I like to do now is move a little bit and the movement feels different, even the stretching. Hi, this is the recovery. Dancing with Eyal took me back to the many late night parties we used to enjoy together when living in Senegal over a decade ago. All right, Dave, that was partly for you. <laughs> I know you'd be proud. <laughs> First full day in, ta in Taiwan. I've already done my ice bath, so now we're ready to go. What, we're doing hot baths now, right? Yeah. And then, uh, lots of The most famous uh, restaurant in Taiwan. What's it called? Bin Tai Fung. And that's, that's their specialty. The, the and they're all handmade. Wow, look at yeah. this. Yummy. It's pretty good. Yay. Chocolate dumpling. Starting a road trip. Yee! Yeah. Yeah. Gonna ferry to an island right now. You're very good at being a student and learning, and then you are very good at sharing what you've learned. Now I'm in the head of a diving instructor. There's only two things you need to know about freediving. That freediving is 90% mental and 10% in the head. This is one thing you need to know. And the second is that if it hurts, stop. Freediving is like meditation with some risk. The sea surrounding Taiwan is rich with marine life, including green sea turtles. During our first day in Kaohsiung, we stumbled upon a fashion show. I have a model, she's gonna teach me how to walk the catwalk. First you're gonna uh, stand tall, okay. shoulder back, and then walk straight.
Just before Eli's birthday dinner, we managed to work up an appetite with a great game of tag. Oh, you're it! Ah! Oh, okay! celebrated Eli's birthday with a special dinner at a restaurant serving food from one of Taiwan's many indigenous groups. Happy birthday to you. Reporting you live from the shore of Lotus Wake Park. First free diving and now a wake park. Over there are two lights, red and green. Yeah. Red means you aren't going, you need to wait. Okay. Green means you're gonna go, get ready, you're gonna leave. Nailed it! What's your name? Shannon. Shannon, can I film a little? Yeah. What's yeah. Your name? Mike, this is Shannon's student right here, 54 years old, just started last year. Nice. And here comes Eli. Oh, uh, how was the jump? I was thinking that the traction was gonna be very different on the jump compared to the water. It was very steady. Very steady, yeah. yeah. Well, this is super fun. We later visited a temple to learn about the Taiwanese religion based on Taoism and Buddhism. People often ask for advice and get answers in the temple, as well as placing wishes on lanterns for loved ones and ancestors. Pretty sure there's over a thousand of these here. Even in modern buildings and shops, worshiping ancestors is still practiced with monthly offerings of food and symbols of money. Another street market in Kaohsiung. It's Christmas Eve, dude. Does it feel like it? Yeah. No. <laughs> Bribes of Sugar is getting this boy to do 20 laps up and down this amphitheater. He's gonna get an ice cream if he does 20 laps. Teo's earning it, he's on his last one right now. This is number 20. All the way, all the way. Yeah, buddy! Thank you. Oh, that's some well-earned ice cream. We're at the beach. Scotty serve time! We are on the southernmost tip of Taiwan. <laughs> Every country has a different definition of what a national park looks like and should be. There's proper towns inside this national park. I asked the owner how she came up with the name. What did you say? Can you say it again? That's from Austin Power. <laughs> <laughs> Teo and Kai never passed up the opportunity to create mini worlds at the beaches we visited. And since a lot of these people came from the last place I was at, where there's like a bunch of waves destroying houses, that's a trauma hospital and the 7-Eleven. Boom, boom. Your interpretation of the sign? I find it right, so it's like... Not yeah. a snake, that's an earthworm. So he eats the earth and then all the uh, ground is in his belly and then he poops it. This is how he clears the way. He doesn't leave a, a, a tunnel behind him. The trunk is like lava that has dripped over it and then just cooled. Made it to the beach! It's a hermit crab habitat here. I just love watching living things! Teo is going to free his hermit crabs here. The locals we met during our trip around Taiwan were very friendly and happy to offer advice. There's another place up in this coast here. Thanks for the free advice. I love, love, love getting people in the water. Got wetsuits. Super hard. 
I'm now gonna be breaking it. And ready to break it? Boom! We are going to go check out some sand dunes over here as we continue north along the east coast of Taiwan. On your marks, get set, go! Boom! That is the winner! For a second try. So much faster. But now you got to the slope. Will you be able to do the slope? Eli, his technique is much better now. Come on, come on, Eli. Push it with your hands. Oh no, Eli's gonna lose again. Welcome to Taitung. First time biking in Taiwan now. High quality helmets and bikes. Pineapple break. Yeah, yeah. These tribes we see the remains here are actually the uh, source of all the Pacific tribes Papua New Guinea, uh, New Zealand, all the Pacific. This guy, amazing teacher. Everything before we, we had uh, writing is prehistory. Everything after is history. So different places in the world, the line for prehistory and history will be totally different. We're gonna go check another spot for surfing here. There's waves. It's like head high out here, a little overhead. This is amazing. While checking the surf, I met a fellow Californian who has returned to Taiwan 12 times to surf because of the great waves and friendly locals. For a hike. Boom! After a long drive, we are in Hualien. We're heading over to a night market. Get some dinner. Did you had a good wake up call from the dogs? Uh. And from the cock? And from the other dog? And from the other cock? And the other one? And all the neighborhood? Hey, hey all, what's the uh, elevation gain today? Today, we're gonna go all the way up to the top of the Taroko Coast. We're gonna go from here to here and then there and then go up. And Can I have a little more energy? Aujourd'hui, alors, nous va aller à la montagne. C'est là-bas, là, c'est Dali. C'est la place magnifique. Alors, on va aller là, dans le Zawa, Dali. Now in America. Uh, I don't know American. <laughs> Our first lookout. Another similarity between Korea and Taiwan. They don't believe in switchbacks. Once I said, incredible, they have switchbacks. The switchback stopped and it went to stairs going straight up. 
One of the most amazing swimming holes, and we can't get to it. Finally, a way down to the water. Let's head back. Made it. Water has filtered all the way down. It's coming out here. Gorgeous. Ah. The natural sounds of the canyon come alive. Ah. God, what's that horrible bird call? Ah, jeez. The meat point. Boom. Boom. What are we hitting up now, Tao? A closed hot spring. Shh. It's a pretty high risk trail. We're still going down it to get to a hot spring. I am actually shocked that Tao was willing to go down that trail. Look at this. I mean, it's just sheer rock face. Of course, Eyal was happy to plunge into the frigid river waters of Taroko Gorge. I feel reborn. That was amazing. And this is the first place I've seen people actually doing the claw machines. I kept seeing these claw machines around Taiwan, so I thought they deserve their own montage. During our trip, we talked a lot about Taiwan's independence. Only recognized by 13 countries in the world, Taiwan's days of independence are possibly numbered. The island lies just 100 miles off China's mainland. China claims Taiwan as part of its territory and has vowed to take control of the island by force if necessary. The majority of Taiwan's population is made up of refugees from China fleeing the communist government. The younger generation who were born in Taiwan do not see themselves as Chinese. They identify solely as Taiwanese today. The island is a self-governed democracy and has been for the past 30 years. And so when many Chinese people see people from their own ethnic group able to elect their own leaders, it can cause frustration with your own non-elected leaders and inspiration for change. Thus, Taiwan's elections are a threat to the government of China. The biggest industry in Taiwan makes advanced processors. They're so good at it, they make almost all the most advanced processors in the world. Some say this is why China has not attacked yet, so people have called the processor industry Taiwan's silicone shield. Some still say an invasion is imminent, while others say the status quo of Taiwan being independent won't change anytime soon. Where are we going today? Holocaust Museum. So there's so many dynasties, and every dynasty took the best of the of the previous and added hers. Every dynasty, the, the treasures become finer and more detailed and more elaborated and, and bigger and older. And the last dynasty, the Qing dynasty, actually has the best of everything. All these treasures were kept by uh, the new China, the Republic of China, uh, ROC. Taiwan, and when the ROC started losing to the communists, they took these boxes from the Forbidden City in, in Beijing to um, uh, different cities when they ran away. In the end, they brought the 470-something boxes, wooden boxes, the treasures of 2,000 years of, of civilization to uh, the island of Formosa, Taiwan. As our trip comes to a close, we've learned once again how fantastic Maya Eyal, Eli, and Kai are as travel companions. It was really good, like, overview of uh, Taiwan, being with friends. And good time in nature. I mean, the, the, the days, the two days that we did the treks, that were like, really, no people around us in nature, that was amazing. Where are we going? Down to see the fireworks of New Year. New Year's Eve in Taipei. The amount of people is just astronomical. We're reminded once again, the world is waiting for all of us to make our own discoveries.